in damp or wet locations, how must surface type enclosures be placed or equipped, according to the NEC, to prevent moisture or water from entering and accumulating within the cabinet or cutout box? And the correct answer is be mounted with at least a quarter inch airspace. Let's look at the paraphrase content. In damp or wet environments, surface type enclosures must be installed or designed to prevent moisture or water from entering and accumulating inside the cabinet or cutout box. They must also be mounted with a minimum air gap of a quarter inch between the enclosure and the wall or other supporting surface. So if I'm mounting my meter disconnect combo, I'm going to need to be required to have that quarter inch. And thankfully, it's installed from the manufacturer. They put the little bump outs that keeps it that quarter inch out. That way I can be code compliant. Enclosures in a wet location must be weatherproof. For enclosures in these areas, raceways or cables entering in above uninsulated parts must use fittings rated for wet locations. An exception to this is non-metallic enclosures can be installed without that air gap when mounted on concrete, masonry, tile, or similar surface. So we can remove that requirement if it's a non-metallic enclosure. But let's say you're out and you're mounting your meter disconnect combo. You're going to need to maintain that quarter inch air gap in between the enclosure or wall or other supporting surface. And at the bottom part of this code, it this is where we get the requirement for us using something like a Myers hub when we come in above uninsulated parts. Now, that is a brand name, shout out to Myers hubs, and uh, but that is just a hub that's designed for wet locations, very versatile, but you can use any, you can use any part or fitting that is rated for wet locations in order to satisfy that. Now they sell some fittings that aren't as robust as Myers hubs, but they still satisfy that code. I am the electrical code coach, and my bargain is that these videos will add value to you, and you will in turn add value to others. If there's anything you need from me, you can always email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. Let's get to it.